Dozens of Wisconsin restaurants are openly sharing their recipes in a new cookbook. Not something you typically would expect in the highly competitive industry, but this effort is bringing restaurants together and working to help all of them bounce back after COVID. The Wauwatosa shop was closed on this Tuesday morning. Miss Molly's Cafe and Pastry Shop. And you're Miss Molly. I am. But when you own a small business, there are no days off, especially post COVID. It's always been a challenge from day one, but the last year and a half has just been a whole different level of um, adaptation and just thinking on your feet and persevering. Molly Sullivan and her business have persevered. It's why she gladly gave up the recipe. We shared our rosemary biscuits. Yeah. Uh, they're super popular here. For publishing in the Wisconsin Restaurant Cookbook. I thought it was really a cool idea. I mean, anything to support small businesses. The books are just 10 bucks, available exclusively at Pick and Save and Metro Market stores across the state. It's a compilation of restaurants and chefs and recipes from all around the state where we do business. I believe there's 41 different recipes in here, something for everybody. You don't go into restaurants unless you have a passion for what you're doing. Lori Frederick is senior writer and editor of Food and Dining at OnMilwaukee.com. What sort of needs are, are you hearing from, from restaurants right now? So. Well, every restaurant in the city, in the in the state, is recovering, you know, and they're going to be recovering for a while because folks lost so much fiscally, you know, yeah. over over the past 16, 18 months. Frederick reached out to restaurants across the state, got them to give up a recipe for the book. 100% of the sales will go back to the industry. And for me, you know, I work with restaurants every day out of the year, you know, and throughout the pandemic and, and I've watched kind of the ups and downs. So for me, it was really gratifying to be able to do something solidly, you know, aside from, you know, giving them a good article. Restaurants are already applying for grants to strengthen their businesses. Customers are already buying books and the ingredients to cook what's in them. Our stores are anchors in communities, and in many ways, so are the restaurants. They're a vital part of these communities. So um, they've helped us, they've supported us through the pandemic. It's our turn to support them. So that's that's why we're doing this. Plus, if you want to make the recipes, I mean, you're, you got to shop somewhere, Paul. Absolutely, right? there's, there's some great <laughs> recipes and we can help you with the food. Some recipes are simple, others expert level. If you want to put your chef's head on and try to make Miss Molly's rosemary biscuit. I think you have to just be aware of the temperature of your butter. That is a huge process. Mind huge. your butter. <laughs> mind your, your butter. Mind, mind your butter and your butter temperature. It's got to be cold. Yeah. It's going you're going to get that flaky crumb if you have cold butter. That's a good that's a pro tip. Yeah. <laughs> The Wisconsin Women's Business Initiative Corporation also helped put the book together. If they sell them all, it could be $100,000 for the restaurant industry in Wisconsin. Going in depth this morning, the Wisconsin Restaurant Association reporting results of its most recent survey. Even restaurants fully back open facing still significant challenges. 68% reporting higher food costs than prior to COVID. More than half have higher labor costs. They're also struggling to find workers, with more than 80% saying they are actively trying to fill openings. For more information on the cookbook or a link to donate directly to the cause, you can look for this story on our website. It's up now at TMJ4.com.